Hey y'all, it's Butters, and today I have a Q&A video for you guys. I tweeted out saying, tweet at me with some questions, and include hashtag Butters is a nerd, and I will answer your questions in a video, and here's the video. Here we go. I have them on my phone. This is a really weird intro. I don't know what I'm doing. I always tend to fling my arms around like this during my intro. I don't know why. I should probably stop that. But like I said, I'm getting all these questions from Twitter. So if you guys don't follow me on Twitter and would like to be in videos like this, feel free to follow me at Noisy Butters. And yeah, now let's hop into the questions, shall we? Here we go. First question, where do you see you and your YouTube channel in five years? I have no idea. It's hard to say. I'd like to see myself break at least 50,000 subscribers eventually. Um, I don't really, I don't think that far into the future. I'm just kind of thinking about now, so I don't know. What is your favorite TV show? Definitely South Park. I love South Park. That's where I got my name from, too. But usually I watch anime or YouTube videos. I don't really watch TV as much anymore. Okay, a very repetitive question I'm seeing a lot is where did my name come from? I made a video on that. I'll go ahead and link it on the screen right now for you guys to go see it. So if you guys were wondering where my name, Noisy Butters, came from, go watch that video. Why is it so hot in my room right now? My gosh! If a comic could be made in any time period, when would you want it to be placed? I think we need to dip our toes back into the World War II era. I would love a World at War II, essentially, so... Yeah, I didn't really get too much into it, but I feel like it would be something I'd be really interested in. Unless they want to make Modern Warfare 2 remastered. I'd be okay with that, too. <laughs> what is your favorite dog breed? Basset Hounds! I love Basset Hounds! They're so cute and squishy! They've got the long ears and the short little legs and they're so snuggly and cute! Oh my gosh, I love Basset Hounds. My family fosters Basset Hounds as well, so I have a very deep love for those squishy little boogers. I love them so much. Will you be my dad? Yes, son. I will be your dad. Hello, son. Okay. How many years have you played COD? I believe I started in 2009 with Modern Warfare 2. So, yeah. How many years is that? Seven. Seven years. This guy has two questions. His first question is, how did you get into the YouTube and team side of COD? Well, I got into YouTube because of Optic Midnight. Um, she's my whole inspiration behind me being on YouTube. I love her so much. And as for the team side of COD, I actually never joined teams for a very long time. The first team that I joined was Thrust Nation. I'm sure you guys probably heard of me from there. Uh, it's Keemstar's team, and uh, I just figured I'd try and mix it up and join a team, and I really enjoyed it. So. I decided to go out for the Soul Recruitment Challenge after Thrust ended, and yeah, I joined Soul, and now I'm here. So, I've only been on two teams, so I don't really know too much about Team COD, if that makes sense. But I gotta say, being on a Call of Duty team is a lot of fun. I like being able to turn to other YouTube partners and be like, yo, should I do this, should I do this? And they're very supportive, so yeah, I like being on teams. It's fun. Also, I love Soar. I've been here for a good five or six months now, and I love it. I love the members, and I just love being here, so yeah, Soar, yay. His second question, would you do an open lobby on Black Ops 3 for fans on Xbox? Absolutely. I don't know when I'll do it, but sure, I'll do it. How much better do you consume a day? A lot. I live in the South. We put butter on everything. Butter is great. We like butter. Butter, 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 butter. What is your favorite video that you have ever made? I think it's kind of a tie between two. Uh, the first choice would be my sister playing Call of Duty because it is so funny watching her because she plays League of Legends. Like, it's funny to see her actually do kind of good at Call of Duty. I thought it was really funny. And hit the triple headshot feed. Did you guys see that? It was crazy. It was crazy. I taught her so well. And then my second favorite video would probably be my spring break vlog. I love seeing the, uh, especially the beginning part where I'm going home and seeing my dogs and my family. It makes me really homesick, actually. I miss home. What is your favorite Pokemon card you've got? Um, I don't know. Let me take a look, actually. I actually know exactly which card is my favorite. I just have to find it. By the way, in case you guys didn't know, I am a huge collector of Pokemon cards. I love Pokemans. I love collecting Pokemans cards. This is the Primal Clash set. It's not complete yet, but I'm still working on it. Now, where is that card? Hold on. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here's the card. My favorite card of all time is definitely this Medicham from the Primal Clash set. I don't know why. I love the look of this card. It's very action-y, and it's also very good in the TCG, so... I don't know. I have to say this is my favorite card. It is very well-rounded, and I like it a lot. And Metacham is such a cool Pokemon, in my opinion. I love Metacham. And then my second favorite card will probably have to be Mega Gardevoir EX from Primal Clash as well. I don't know what it is about this card, just the attack brilliant arrow and just the artwork. I don't know. I like it a lot. I am a fan. I am a fan. Fun fact, I also have decks that are based on these cards. This is my Fairy deck, which has Mega Gardevoir in it, and this is my Fighting Type deck, which has Metacham in it. I don't play as much as I want to, but I still have those decks on standby in case I ever do want to play. If there was a Phase 5 Recruitment Challenge, would you participate? I don't know. Probably not, because I'm not much of a sniper in that sense of hitting clips. Uh, I just like to 
1v1 and get free for all matches with a sniper so I don't think I really have a place in phase per se but I might go for it I mean just for the fun of it I don't know we'll have to find out when we get there how many DMs did you get for the RC and are you still checking them out also favorite first gen Pokemon so if you guys don't know the store RC just ended on June 13th and I got absolutely flooded with RCs it was ridiculous I probably got like I know it was definitely over 100, probably like 110, 120, and I got through about 80 of them, I'd say. It was tough, y'all. It was tough. For those who I didn't get to by the end of the RC, I'm really sorry. I have a life, and I don't know, it was really overwhelming for me, and I just, it was, it's tough, okay? But I'm still definitely going through them. I will get to every single one of them. Hopefully. <laughs> and also, my favorite first gen Pokemon is definitely Seedra. I love Seedra with a burning passion. Love Cedra. Do you plan to get Poe a little snake sibling in the future? You know, funny story, somebody tweeted at me, he was a breeder, and he said, hey, if you want a Butterball Python, I can get you one for a discount at the next Repticon. I'm like, that would be so cool, but the thing is, I don't know if I could handle another snake. I love, I love Poe, he is a wonderful snakey, and I don't know, I don't think two is right for me, I think I only need one. But I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll get Poe a girlfriend. <laughs> How old were you when you started to get into YouTube videos? I believe my first video that I uploaded was in 2012, so I would have been 17 years old. My gosh, where's the time gone? I'm so old, I'm 21 now. My gosh. What are your aims for this year with your YouTube channel? I don't really have any aims for it. I'm just kind of enjoying it as I go. I'd like to hit 15,000 subscribers. I think that would be cool. Maybe 20,000? Uh, that's a bit of a stretch. 15,000. 15,000. If you never got introduced to video games, where would you think your life would be right now? I'd probably be watching more anime or playing more card games. I don't really know. I don't want to think about it. I love video games too much. <laughs> will you always be as active with your fans as you are now? Don't end in love. <laughs> Hopefully I will be. Um, I don't see myself, you know, gaining like a huge spike in people to the point where I can't respond to everybody, so... Yeah, if you guys tweeted me, by the way, I will respond to you. I'll definitely respond to you. What kind of music do you listen to? K-pop. <laughs> K-pop and rock and a little bit of trap and electronic, I guess, and country. I love my country when I'm on those long drives on the, on the dirt roads and stuff. I live in the south, so it's excusable for me, okay? What are you more hyped for? Modern Warfare Remastered or Infinite Warfare? Well, if you guys don't know, I don't like space very much. Space is one of my biggest fears ever. I made a video on it. I'll go ahead and link it on the screen right now. However, I will say that after watching the gameplay uh, at E3, of Infinite Warfare, I thought it was kind of cool with the grappling and all of that. It was still a little, a little nerve-wracking for me to watch, but it was pretty cool in my opinion. But I'm definitely more excited for Modern Warfare Remastered because I played a little bit of COD 4 back in the day, maybe in like 2010, but I never played it during its prime, and I really wish I did because I want to know what everybody's talking about when they say COD 4 is the best thing of all time. You should have played it back in the day. Well, I cannot wait for the community to go back to Call of Duty 4 so I can experience that all over again. I don't have a question, so will you be my mom? Well, that is a question. You confuse me. And, uh, yes, son, I will be your mom. Why do you guys want me to be your mom and dad? What the heck? <laughs> what is the optimal highway speed for a modern sedan to retain maximum fuel efficiency? Huh? Eh? Huh? Eh? What are your plans after college? I will probably be pursuing a career in IT. I will be graduating, and I will have a degree, and I will fix all the computers and all the things, so... I don't know. Probably be pursuing... Have to... Uh, be pursuing a career in IT. Yes. What is the smallest channel size you'd collab with? Honestly, channel size doesn't matter to me, but I'm only gonna collab with close friends. Cause as you guys can probably tell on my channel, I haven't collabed with anybody besides maybe my sister. That's it. I'm only gonna collab with people who I'm really close with, so. Yeah. FMK, Phase Apex, Optic Hex, Aaron, you know. Oh, it's one of those F Mary Kill questions. I've never gotten these in a video. Can I skip this? I'm gonna skip this. I'm sorry, I can't. This is disgusting. I can't read this. No! What is your opinion on Keemstar? I like Keemstar. I had the opportunity to work with him when I was in Thrust, and he was great. He was an awesome leader. I will say that he is a very smart businessman, and I would not have a problem working with him again. He's great. Of all the animus, which one has inspired you the most besides the one that's a trap? If you guys don't know what the trap one was, don't worry about it. You don't need to know. My favorite anime that's inspired me the most... Um... I honestly don't know. I like No Game No Life, if you guys can see. My wall scroll right there and there. I love No Game No Life. k -On, I just finished that. Really good anime for Slice of Lifey, if that makes sense. Uh, I haven't really found an anime that's quote quote inspired me though, so I don't know. Choose a Pokemon. Trespin, Bulbasaur, or Rowlet. Bulbasaur. <laughs> Does Poe have a waifu? Nope. Not yet. Can you dance to K-pop? Yes. I love dancing to K-pop. That's my form of workout nowadays. Yeah, okay. <laughs>
And that is pretty much all the questions that I could find. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A video. If you guys want to see more, be sure to drop a like on the video for more Q&A videos. Yay. And if I missed your question, I'm sorry. There were a lot of questions. <laughs> Anyways, like, comment, face, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video of whatever I make. Bye-bye.